How much do you spend on on these these subsidiaries a day? I don't know. To be honest, don't think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> no. I mean, we're talking about a lot of intake, a lot of use. I mean, how long would this pot of awesomeness last you? That lasts me about two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all right then. So it's not too bad. But have you you've never tried adding it up on a daily basis? No, I just smoke what I smoke. Yeah. Right. And you make a living off of selling your graph? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I do that. And tattoos, still... Still tattoos, still, yeah? Yeah, still dabbling in the tattoos. Let's get back into the graph. Um, so, from that young age, you were then picking up can and starting painting, and you were doing it mostly around the south coast local to your area? Yeah, yeah. And at what point did you start branching out? Like, what was your parents thinking at the time? Like, how did that play out? Because you were going uh. everywhere? Well, when I got arrested, I was actually living with my grandparents. Right. Because well, I got kicked out from my mum. My dad was living with an absolute cunt. So, yeah, I went and lived with my grandparents for a bit, and that's where I got arrested. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, from there, I moved up to Bristol for a bit, and then I moved back down to Brighton. And then, because I, st I actually stopped painting for a couple of years. When I was up in Bristol, which I fully regret, I stopped painting, but I was still sketching and oh, that. man, Bristol's the spot. Yeah, I know, man. That's what I fully regret. Like, because yeah. I was seeing it all, but I, I was working hard when I was up there as well. Because, mm. yeah, I was homeless at the time. Mm. So I moved up to Bristol with my auntie. Like, mm. I had a place to stay and that. And I was just working hard, sorting myself out. Mm. And then from there, I went back down to Brighton and started painting again. Came on. Yeah, man. And then met Goucher, OFK lot, mm. Zemo and that lot. And smashed it down there. Game changer. Yeah, man. So how old would you have been at that time, from Bristol to Brighton? Uh, about 19, 20. 20? Yeah. Man, you Fucking born into the game, pretty much. You uh, you have a relationship with your mum and dad now? I see my dad. Yeah, don't speak to your mum now. Nah. Still not now. No. Nah. That was one of the highlights of the podcast was getting understanding of of how that played out. That's um, that's a shame you're still not talking. That's oh, just bad childhood, isn't it? Yeah. Don't want nothing to do with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. I get you. Some things just can't just be repaired. Just move on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Some things can't be repaired so easily, can they? Um, techniques. And such, who were you rolling with at the time uh, that, that was really giving you that, that kind of edge on things? That I was you doing were... most of the shit on my own, to be fair. Really? Yeah, man. And then when I met Goucher, he gave me quite a few pointers on that. And uh, my mate Sumo, he's a German writer, but he lives down in... Well, I won't actually say... He lives English. somewhere nice. Yeah, he lives, he lives somewhere local to me, isn't yeah. it? So... Yeah, yeah. Another country, don't live anywhere near me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, fuck him. He's insane, man. Obviously, German style. Yeah. Fucking love that Bonkers, shit. Yeah. And then, obviously, having him as one of my mates yeah. and him and his DJ as well. Insane. He's yeah. just hip hop straight in. Oh, God, that's like, good. Pure German style, man. Yeah. Love it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, you're into your drum and bass and all sorts, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I love my drum and bass. Yeah, you're a big drum and bass head. All right, it's been on that since the jungle days, isn't it? Yeah, I love the jungle days, me. Yeah, I don't know whether still that makes bang out a lot of jungle. <laughs> and I like the way it comes back around as well. Do you know what I mean? This you can still go to your rave and hear it. Yeah, it's fucking great. Um, with the internet being the way it is in this ever-changing world, it's it's quite nice that those things, those influences like Cantu, who you mentioned, and, and they're like you know they're, they're readily available to see because of social yeah. media. Isn't it amazing? Like, how did how did we even consume other countries' oh, art in the first place before that? Hip Hop Connection, man, that was one on the magazines that. Yeah. Did it for me with the graph, like, yeah. and, and then obviously adverts and that. I'm seeing that there's graph magazines, which mm -hmm. didn't know then. Mm -hmm. Like, just a little kid, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the hip hop connection used to be in uh, in news agents and shit mm -hmm. back then. Yeah, yeah. Like a monthly thing. I remember a, I got a Tizer magazine somewhere at home. With, I think it's the only hip hop one I've got left. And fucking what, with Tizer in it. Yeah, yeah. Two Yo. pages of Tizer in the back of it. Stop it! I didn't know I that was the, that was huge uh, for them. Back I think then. it was a Dizzy Rascal cover. Nice. And then, yeah, Tizer's in the back of that one. But that's the only magazine I've got left of them. But, yeah, I had a stack of those. So much shit in them. Mm. People, yeah, big, up, and, big like... up Andy Cowan as well, because that magazine was a lifeline for mm. us lot who weren't in London. Yeah, it was, it was hip-hop. It did everything. Like, it wasn't just the music. Yeah. Like, and you were hearing about artists that you ain't going to hear for, like, two years. Like, yeah. I remember reading an article about the game in there, and I was I mentioned it to my mate, and he's like, oh, he's just an NWA fan. And then two years later, he's like, got that, that documentary album come out, and I was just like, yeah, sick. 
I read about this dude. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. <laughs> you know who else? I, I, I remember doing a couple of magazines, Touch Magazine and uh, Hip Hop Connection for its time. And I remember distinctively seeing gigs, articles in Hip Hop Connection yeah. before he is what he is now. Like, he didn't come out of nowhere. Yeah, see, there's loads of UK stuff in there. Like, yeah. I ain't seen one of the magazines since, like, early thousands now. Yeah. Probably, yeah. like, 2003, maybe, was the last time I seen one of them. They're rare as fuck, aren't they? Yeah. There was never enough graph in there, though, was there? It was, like, no. it was like two pages. Yeah, it was, like, two, three pages yeah. at the back. But at least it was coloured. Like, like, sometimes they'd do, like, one person, or they'd do just, like, random stuff from... Yeah. I like the like, random stuff. Yeah. Because they would... they. I mean, I remember seeing Mace in there. I remember seeing Score and Kilo, of course. Like, these guys were kind of stalwarts in the, the mag. But you get these ones, like, you said, Taito. I didn't know that. I didn't know he had done anything there. Yeah, I'll send you some flicks when I go when I get home. Yeah, 100%. That's fucking sick. Um, there was also Represent Magazine and Fat Boss and Graffitism. The Represent, I remember Graphism having... Graffitism used to be harder to get hold of back oh, in the day. Super hard. It was mail order, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you remember that? Oh, it used to be like gold landing on your doorstep when you'd buy and one. And the only time I was really ordering paint, because I did a couple of projects for the youth club after I got arrested when I was a kid. So um, when I was ordering paint, I was like, yeah, I'll add those magazines. And <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that's when I found out the um, Style File magazines as well. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously German Style again. Like Huge magazines, bro. F- fucking love those. Out of all the magazines, I'd say that's probably my... Style File. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%. Really, I think it pushed forward the idea of yeah. what, what magazines could, could it do. It was yeah. just the styles in there and then the panels they used to put in there and it wasn't just German, it was just worldwide. Yeah, like. Barcelona and places yeah. like that. Yeah, I remember this very well. I think I've still got some in the cupboard there. Um, I like going back into old magazines and seeing things like, not everything's online, no. you know what I mean? And you see this magazine, you're like, fuck, I'm not. I remember seeing Arrow and the whole network terror thing in... in couple of episodes of Graffitism, and it's just like, yo, that's... Mad. Yeah, they're always in the front two pages, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, always. <laughs> Crazy dope. Like, they don't make them like they used to, sir. No, they don't. You know? That they, being said, though, the scene at the moment is pretty... The train's healthy. just kind of got weaker and weaker in the Graffitism, though. Mm-hmm. They went from, like, got quite a few pages to, like, one page, and then to no pages of trains, and it was like, oh, mm-hmm. this is kind of boring now. It oh. kind of turned into quite a fashion-esque uh, quarterly magazine it was so big yeah they i mean not that there's anything wrong with a lot of graph but like you say uh they had to kind of cat they had to kind of segment each area of graph and then have something that would bring in more people reading it yeah, yeah. borders books i remember going into borders and on oxford circus and just seeing this stack of fucking graffitism but it got pricey didn't it's it that graffiti world book as well man i remember that yeah. that was one of the first books i got that and the um subway art Library racks, aren't it? Yeah, come on. <laughs> easy. Easy pickings. I don't think there's one person that's been on this podcast that hasn't nicked. <laughs> it's got a, everything has come from the library, isn't it? But yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. doesn't happen nowadays. No, it that's why you probably couldn't even rack a book from the library now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's impossible. I'm trying to figure out where it might be a library. I'm like, sure. I know where a couple are, but... Just people don't do it like that no yeah, more. Yeah, it's just not the same. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? I bet there was some graffitism nicked from the library as well, because they always have magazine areas as well and all that. I mean, you don't really need magazines per se, do you? I mean, it's more, it's more like cherishable from a collector's point of view. Anyway, the old ones are the yeah, better. I forgot to bring my books with me. I got, you know, the books I brought last time. Yeah. I got twenty of those now. Jesus, you've really, really gone. <laughs> yeah, in, I've you? stacked them up. If anyone's interested, yeah, look up Photo Prints as an app. You can make books out like out of it and. Just, Hold on. It's what? just better to have your shit in a book. Stop isn't it. it. So what? There's an app on your phone. Yeah. That you create, you create your books from. Yeah, man. Right, so look, there's no fucking excuses, you lot. Get your own books made. Yeah, Get your pieces out there. It's this one Prosperity. there. It's blue one. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah. No, fine. It's yeah. called Photo Books. Photo Books. Yeah, yeah. You get like a free book a month and you just pay £5 for postage and you can upgrade to get hardback for another five, basically. You get like 20 pages for free. What? But it's worth doing because you, then you can just get all your shit in a book and it's yeah. just not on your phone. That's incredible. My mind is blown. This is future Ford shit. And so what, can you make, get them made to spec and sell them? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah? But, you, but it's more it, for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so obviously you get the one free book a month and then obviously you have to pay extra and then they charge you quite a lot extra for the next really? book. How much so they charge best, you? Probably about 16 quid or something for a book. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, man, so you'd have to charge a little bit for it. But 30 quid or something. Yeah, but then you could do it cheaper if you went through just another company, innit, and got like a... Like a stack made out of that. How many pages can you have on a first free one? 
the 20, but then you can add, I think it's like 20p for a page. Don't really, I think the most I've spent on a book's probably been like about 15 quid. Oh my God, and that is just It's quite, quite a hefty book with... Really? Whole high yeah. grade in that looks... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Oh, my mind is blown. That is incredible. That's... Yeah, I was, I was going to bring some with me, but I forgot them. That's the real I physical... I left quite early this morning, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's been painting. Big up the Trellick crew, so you were down there. Yeah, Trellick's a good plot. Yeah. I've not painted it before. You know, I went there once with Arnock and Hippie, like 2013, I think that was. Yeah. We, uh, we were smashing Carnival that day. Yeah, big up Arnock. Uh-huh, all tight. And Hippie, wherever you are. I'm not supposed to be around long, yeah. she's just disappeared. She's disappeared. <laughs> Doing what hippies do best. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trellick is, uh, you know, it's a history, history in, in, in yeah, what I would describe. I've always wanted to paint it. I didn't want to paint the big wall because obviously there's some nice stuff there. It's a big wall yeah. as well. It's a big bastard wall. Wall of fame in it, so I just paint Without a little bit. Now's the best time to go painting because when it's winter, things last longer. Yeah. You know, no one wants to really paint in the winter, do they? No, not really. Yeah. But. This is that gnarly London mist, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. When it gets windy in there, it whips, whips some wind around there sometimes too. You know what I'm saying? Um, where's your favourite places to paint? Where do you like painting the most? Um, St Catherine's Hill's quite a nice one in, in Bournemouth. Yeah? The only issue with that is, as it is on a hill, so you lugging your paint up the fucking hill is long and it's quite a steep hill. Mm. But the wall there is, that's probably the best plot, I know, right? In our area, are people it's, in Bournemouth? It's a nice there's a lot of people. As well. A lot. Of, is there an audience for graffiti in Bournemouth and the like? Like, do people, you know, take shots and, you know, there's there's, there's, some there's a couple few people at the moment. They've been starting some Instagram pages and that, and running around. Really? Like, it's that Miss Mud, isn't it? Yeah, Miss Mud. She's been doing it, getting. Miss like, Mud is the Instagram handle. Yeah, she's the one who gets most of the um, most of the shots around Bournemouth and Paul and that at the moment. M S M U D. No, I think it's like M. One five five in it, and then M U D. Okay, I think so. I'm shit with remembering Instagram. No, it's, it's, it's all like, good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good. It's all good. Unless you, it's not your actual name, I'm just gonna fucking forget it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they try and know that cryptic shit, and it's like, no, 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 no. It's in a Morse code business. Yeah, my right? brain is bad for stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ADHD man. I'm constantly thinking about something. <laughs> so we're back in the box, people. The box has been opened up again, and I'm looking a little deep. Can I just pull out what we've got here? So we've got... Yeah, we've got a couple of, couple of strains. Strains. Oh, that's just some shit bits, isn't it? I'm just going to roll into a blunt at some What's point. What's that? I lost, just got gifted a little bit of bud earlier by someone. But See, man comes into town, he gets gifted. Do you know what I mean? He gets gifted and <laughs> lifted. So what's this? This is some other... St- these are all different variations. Yeah, that one's Skittles. Mm. And then I'm, I think... Oh, I've heard of Skittles. People think I smoke weed. I really oh, don't. that one? I'm just overworked. I'm trying to Pineapple. Think what that one was that? No, that was an old old label on there. I'm, I'm trying to think which one that was. Let me now. smell this Skittles thing. Honestly, I'm so intrigued. Uh, it's not opening. You got a puppet. All right. See, I see that proves how much <laughs> I fucking know. I know people that smoke weed that don't know how to open these parts. Uh, after a couple of smokes, I'm pretty sure they'll look at it like it's some sort of childproof fuckery. Okay, and this is like your emergency. Yeah, that's the emergency pre-roll. Emergency pre-roll, just in case he gets a bit unstuck. You understand? What's the black one? What's this black pot? Oh, that's a, that's a stalk. Can I'll I save... do? I pop this like that? Yeah, you can pop that. That's just stalk in there. Basically, I'll save up all the stalk and then uh, make butter out of it and make edibles. What? Is that what you do with the stalks? Yeah. Mate, I don't am... waste the plant. Don't waste. You don't waste the thing, do you? No, nah, man. How long have you been doing this for since you was a kid? Yeah. Have you, ever got, 20 years, have you ever got pulled Asian. over for this? Oh yeah, a few times. And what do they say? I mean, you don't care, do you? Well, I've got I kind of a few got out a few breathalysers because um, I've smoked the night before and not that day. No, you know what I mean. Yeah. So because if you smoke the day before, it's still in your system. So if they're going to test you for it on the spot, it's going to be in your system. So it's not really an accurate reading. So if you're straight up and you look them in the eye and you're like, yeah, I smoked yesterday, but I didn't smoke today. They're then kind of put on the spot about it. And then a few times I've had a flashlight shine on my face to see if my pupils dilate and all that sort of shit. But yeah. I think my, the thing that's just curious... my standard self, do you yeah, know what I mean? Just <laughs> like, doing you, yeah. And, and, you know, once it's in your system, it's, it's in your system, isn't it? It's part of your thing. But wh- what I was coming to was, if you're walking around with that much gear, like, do you, do you, do you ever worry about being stopped? No. What, do they, what would they say if they saw that? Well, if they I are. know jack shit, by the way. I'm if I get curious. stopped for it, 
like when I've been stopped in my car and stuff like that, and they're like, "Oh, are we going to find stuff when we search your car?" I'm like, "Yeah, there's a lunchbox in there with some weed in it, mate." Yeah. Like, what are you going to do about it? What did they say? Oh, I don't ever get arrested. Don't you? They just normally take it and send me on my way. Well, I'll cook a cat. See what I'm saying? The toleration is an all-time low, isn't it? Just don't kick off and be a dickhead. Yeah. Because I can't be asked to get arrested, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that's really... It's easily said than done, because people... I'm going to try and charm my way out of something. Do you? You know what I mean? That's that's how I try and do it. Talk to me about the just charm be, offensive. Be, oh, it's just being cheeky, isn't it? Yeah. Like, just be... Whatever. <laughs> Honestly, I swear to God, I've never met someone more brazen. I remember the first podcast. I mean, it was literally like you had... I think you were going on holiday or something, weren't you? you oh, were we going went on, on a wild camping trip to Scotland. And how was that? Oh, well, I had the cast on my hand, didn't it? Yeah, I that's broke right. My hand. I remember this. Fucking, that was a nightmare because obviously you went to Scotland. Yeah. It was wet. <laughs> so it was damp in there? Yeah, man, it was wet. Um, fucking one night, I actually went and sat in the car for about four hours with fucking heating on my hand to dry my cast because oh, we mate. got absolutely drenched. Oh, mate, what a nightmare. Like, we woke up in the morning and the tent was absolutely soaked. Not like, fun. No, my mate left the fucking cooker and shit at the spot as well. Gutted. And we had drove like 100 mile down the road and realised the cooker's still at the spot. Like, gutted, Fuck. gutted, gutted. So we had a night with no cooker, which was pretty peak. And couldn't really make a fire that night as well because of how wet. damp it was. Like, So, yeah, that was a pretty peak one. But, yeah, overall, we made it to Loch Ness. Sounds really depressing. Spent, like, three weeks. <laughs> hey, it was actually pretty good. Really? Like, yeah, man. It's not my idea, like, man. I don't know about that. Where know. I was feeling, like, deaf anyway and, like, wasn't loving life at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just throw some it, more yeah, rain man, at me, was, Scotland. I don't yeah, care. It was, <laughs> it, was re- it was actually oh, refreshing. Bless you. Yeah, no, it, it was a very no. dark time for you, wasn't it, bruv? Seen, like, Ben Nevis, Loch Lomond. Was it good? Yeah, man, it was sick. Went to Loch Ness. Who was your guy that was you with? Was my, yeah, it was my boy Chimp. Chimp, yeah, that's yeah, it. Man. Big up Chimp. You still friends with him? Yeah, yeah, he's my, he's my lifelong partner. He's your Cody, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I love people like that. I mean, it's, just the, it's just the freedom of, you know, the way that you move is... Not a lot of people have that freedom. Not a lot of people exercise the right to have that freedom. Like everyone could live free if they really wanted to. You just do what you like doing. And is that part of the course, doing just, what you like doing? I just don't chase money. I just yeah. don't care about money. Yeah. I really don't give a fuck about it. Yeah. Like, as long as I'm happy and I'm fucking, yeah. I'm like I've got shit to do. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think more people should take. Everyone has like ups that. and downs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I do. I like to live like a real human, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Before the Romans fucked shit up with their democracy. Well, yeah, <laughs> but that's another podcast. <laughs> um, did you paint when you were up in Scotland? No, I I did a couple of tags, but my hand was fucked and. I just couldn't be asked. It's a beautiful it? place, though, isn't it? Yeah, it was really nice. Did, did, I mean, I remember Mo too saying in Kings and Toys that he has no scruples about, you know, seeing a beautiful statue or a, or a monument, yeah. but having a piece put on it. Do you have that same mentality? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tag on on anything like that. No. Like I like visiting like castles and yeah. ruins and stuff like that. And yeah. I'm yeah. mad about Merlin, and King Arthur, and all that sort of shit. And I love all that ancient really? shit Do and you? wizards and stuff. Yeah, mystical shit. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like. I always think about things like the Bath Spa, you know. Like Robin spa. Hood is one of my idols. And yeah, oh, there you go, right. see? There's real places where these... And I shoot, I've been to kind of archery as well since I've seen you. Really? Last, so I shoot arrows on a daily pretty much. Stop it. Love it. Well, no way. So, yeah. My mind's blown. I love going to these places and thinking that people of that age used to frequent in their place, whether it's Bath Spa, whether it's not... I'd love to walk around in... with a sword on my waist. Yeah. Like, but... like how everyone used to, do you know what I mean? Hold on. Not just because I want to go and kill everyone, just because, like... Hold on, Nuzo, do you like those... That's just how back in the day, role-play things? Do you like those role-play... Um... Well, I play a lot of Fallout and stuff like that, innit? And this game that fucking CFAX got me on, what's it called? Chivalry. Chivalry 2, yeah. Chivalry 2, yeah. Yeah, I, st- I downloaded Chivalry it last two. night. I downloaded it last night, and it's fucking sick, mate. Running around the fucking... Uh, like, medieval war, mate. It's mm. sick. Like, all online, just... Yeah, it's just jokes, man. I love that shit. <laughs> I had a mate I had a mate in Italy who got into that kind of real-life role-play thing, you know, where the people dress up and they go for the battles and stuff and, and they literally live for a weekend. Yeah, see, I've seen on YouTube they do fucking, like, yeah. MMA, medieval MMA and stuff. 
I watched a couple of those and I was like, this is fucking mental, mate. Get the fuck like, out of here. No way. If you ain't seen it, man, look it up. Medieval MMA. It's That's fucking nuts, bro. They so got like, fighting swords, swords and shields. shields, like full armor and that. My fucking mate, fully my mate. smashing each other in the face yeah, with these like swords and that. They're mental. serious. My mate, um, in crazy guns, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mate in Italy, he got hit with a sword off the side of his head and his eyeball, eyeball fuck popped out. No, mate. Yeah, he's fucked his eye like since. Then. But I'm like, I'm like, yo, you just fucked your eye on playing a game. And he's like, yeah, 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 but it's worth it. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you're mad, bro. I'm like, I'm not really about that game. <laughs> but yeah, people take it seriously. So MMA, medi- medieval yeah, MMA. Yeah, it looks mental. The things I don't know if they I'd think be, of. Uh, I'd, well, I'd probably be quite jokes doing it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to fucking yeah. live my life like that. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Uh, it's like, what was it? Art, uh, 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 life imitating art. Yeah, but medieval shit just fascinates me, isn't it? Yeah. Some people, and um, rest in peace to Tease, because he, he, he mentioned on his podcast about, you know, scriptures and the Egyptians and, and the history of graffiti that yeah. kind of gets passed down. And uh, Keo also said, actually, from a historical reference point, that it'd be sad that graffiti in the noughties onwards was handled with such distaste. When yeah, they didn't like it, it the yeah. way... The history books will be telling. I think, I think it's because it's the whole hip-hop world, isn't it? It's like the lowest of the low of humanity, basically. That's how they like to see it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, we're at the bottom of the food chain, according yeah. to all of these. Yeah. But uh, who cares? No. It's because we're all real. And we, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. We, I always um, pick up to Isaac. I mean, he said to me that, you know... MC Mello said that graffiti was like the, hoop, the, the football hooligans of hip-hop. Yeah. How cool is that? It's like, they'll go to jail because of their art. That's bonkers. Yeah, I That's know bonkers a few people that have gone to jail for graph. It's mad. Yeah. Right. Have you ever been to jail for graph? No. No, I've been arrested a couple of times for it, but... I just think it's bonkers. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about going to jail for graph. Yeah, you because know, people kind of think you go to jail for making money badly, in a bad way. But then everyone I know who's been to jail for graph, they They've been all right on there because it's just do people drawings, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sketch time. Yeah. And they can sell sketches as well. Yeah, like exactly. Um, what do you prefer doing? Do you prefer doing these um, these uh, black books over graph or are they all one and the same? It's all one and the same, really. One and the same. If I sketch a piece, I don't really paint it. Yeah. But what I normally do is I paint a piece on a wall and then I sketch it afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and then yeah. I normally come up with better ideas when I sketched it after I painted it and... It's a little bit backwards, but... How many of these sketches have you regularly taken and gone out and painted? Uh, I've painted that one. And, yeah, I've seen that, that one. bottom one. And yeah. then the other two I've painted. Actually, all them ones on that page I've painted. Yeah, that's... yeah, a few of these ones in this book I've painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you, always, were you always good at illustrative art and that sort of thing, or is this something you learnt yourself? Well, my granddad was... Uh, he was an illustrator. He illustrated nice. a lot of books, like war books and animal books and stuff. He, Love it. His artwork was insane. Like, his pictures and stuff looked like a photograph. No like, way. It was incredible. Realism? Yeah, like, really fucking sick. Yeah. So, obviously, I've got artistic ability in me, but yeah. channeling it in a different way. Yeah, 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 I can't yeah. do realistic shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but when I see your stuff... I'm trying at the moment, giving it a go. I see your stuff illustratively. I, I think of... I think of um, uh, comic eras such as maybe Hagar the Horrible. Yeah. That kind of era of cartoon where it's like... It's, 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 it's rough and ready. Yes, yeah, like early 90s sort of yeah. style. I love that. Yeah. Oh, gee, shit. That's awesome about your granddad that he used to be banging into all of that. Yeah, he smashed it. Yeah. Have you ever thought about getting into that illustrative kind of stuff? Yeah. A few people have said it to me, but I don't know. I hate doing things for no. other people. That's the yeah, problem. Sometimes, yeah, it's, it's what they want, because then I'm like, well, are you, you going to like it? Yeah. Like, always second guess things with things like that. Yeah. Like, and then mean. people are like, oh, yeah, it's fucking sick. And I'm like, I look at it sometimes like, yeah, it could probably be better, but yeah. if that's what you want, then. Yeah. But then I normally do a better version and they still want the other version. And I'm like, okay. So you just want the simpler stuff. It's just a fucking <laughs> headache, isn't it? It's just the idea of having to do commissions and stuff like that. Yeah. To me, it's like, no, I don't want to draw a donkey. I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do your, your, your you know, give me restaurant an I- sign. Just give me an idea and let me do my thing. Yeah, yeah. Because right. that's what the people pay for. Like, what's the point in getting, like, a don to do something, but then you're dictating... Yeah. 
Like, I like having the idea given to me and then work off of it like that. Yeah. Sometimes I sit there, like, I like doing different things on my own. And obviously with my speech bubble, I always do a speech bubble on my thing. Mm -hmm. And I always ask people, what's the message? Because yeah. I don't know what to put in it most of the time. Really? So I just write something random. Like, it's never really thought out. I love the fact that you do that too. Like, you'll take, um, like, a road sign mm. and put that in the middle. Like, like some of the, what you've got in the black book, it's like, there's a road sign shaped thing. And then there'll be, like, a TV, like, cold computer yeah, game. Yeah, I just like this, like, weird gimmicky sort of shit. Yeah. It? Right. But you're switching it up. Yeah. But that takes a lot of discipline and learning those ones individually, learning those styles individually. Yeah. It's just watching a lot of cartoons as well. Yeah. Do you like cartoons? <laughs> yeah, man, it's all about the cartoons. What's your favourite cartoons? I've been watching Family Guy again at the moment. I've not seen yeah. that in a few years. Heavy. But South Park's normally my go-to. Yeah, there's something still charming about the, the whole package of South Park. It's, they're play on words, mate. I fucking love it. Oh my God. Well, yeah, because they're, they're, they're upsetters, aren't they? Yeah. They're upsetters, you know. And this was of a time where they used to, you know, they used to be friends on. And I said, then all of a sudden South Park comes in. It's like... Whoa! Like, Taking a piss at Kanye West, mate. Fucking love that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's the fish sticks episode, man. And it's also, all about that one, isn't it? <laughs> I would also say old school Simpsons um, as well. I, I used to really dig the. Just the... Yeah, I've not seen Simpsons in a while. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like it kind of took a side. That and Beavis and Butthead. See, the, the Simpsons is probably '90s kids like outlook and graph as well. Bart Simpson yeah. tagging things and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, seeing yeah. that obviously fucking Will Smith as well, Fresh yeah. Prince. Yeah. 100%. Like influences of graph. The moment you said that, I thought I thought that. But he, Will Smith's probably like, he's the gateway drug to hip hop, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, For yeah, like yeah, yeah. all the 90s kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. <laughs> you see him graph, you see him there. You see him doing graph, you see him doing yeah. his hip hop and stuff, and then yeah. you see Jazzy Jeff doing his DJ and that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's fucking incredible. Did you know that they is were. like, brings you into it. Yeah, 100%. Did you know they, uh, they were the pilot guests for MTV? Yeah. And they had the Ready Rock, the beatboxer, there as well. Yeah, and if it wasn't sick. for the performance... You know, I think I might have seen a video of that on YouTube. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it wasn't for that, there wouldn't be no MTV. I've got all Will Smith's albums on CD still. Like, Will Smith's album was the first, like, set tape I ever bought yeah. in the 90s. He's a, he, I'm the MC, he's the DJ. Big Willie style, that was big the big one. Willie style. Ah, the Big Willie style. Yeah, man, that uh -huh. album. First album I bought. <laughs> really? Oh, mate. My first one, actually, was Fresh Prince Home Base. Yeah. That was a fucking one with Summertime on it. Yeah, man, don't sleep on Fresh Prince, all right? That's, yeah, man. Shit. Um, and bringing it up to the future, what, what, aside from these festive treats that you're selling, what else is going on? Uh, I've got a few prints and that. Obviously, there's Black Book, the second Black Book I've been working on. Yeah. been pushed back a little bit because I had a little one born back in June. He came a little bit early. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously, yeah, baby stuff has pushed back a lot of stuff. Mm. <laughs> Putting in the work. Yeah. And Very then, good. Yeah, I've got another print here as well. Yeah, so look. Oh, shit. That's sick. Yeah, you okay. can have one of these ones. Oh, thank you, brother. Look at that. That's going up on the wall of fame over there. That's incredible. Thank you so much. That, for those uh, uh, listening and watching, it's a classic A4, really well, um, uh, good quality card there, uh, black and white, um, Nuzo piece. An, an, an ode to uh, Baudet... Dondi. Rob Bode and Dondi on yeah. there. Little Dondi seam, panel at the top there. as well. Yeah, this is fantastic, brother. Yeah, and the seam throw up. I will see you this and raise you a t-shirt. That's the start. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, New Zealand mm. in the building for a second time. Keeping it fuck. very, very real. As always, it's been a pleasure having you on, my brother. South Coast, hold tight. Safe for having us, bro. Anyone you want to shout out? Oh, my mind's a little bit blank, but <laughs> big up everyone. <laughs> you know who you are. You know who you are. Even if Pick he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast. I like it was out Peace. of fashion, all right? <laughs> don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Crime don't pay, but neither did they. All right? Be safe. All right? Easy. <laughs>